Hi everybody, I'm Miss Val from the North Brunswick Public Library. Today is Story Tots. So do you guys remember how we start out Story Tots? With the hello song. All right, it's gonna go like this, okay? You ready? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? How are you? Do we want to do a little bit of wiggling around? We can get up on our feet. We can shake out our hands, wave our hair around. We can jump up and down. All right, you ready? We're gonna do the song one more time, okay? And do, do a little dance, whatever you wanna do to get some of your energy out, okay? All right. Hello, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? Nice, good job. So today for Story Tots, our theme is superheroes. Do you have a favorite superhero? My favorite superhero is Thor from Marvel. But today we've got a book about the DC heroes. Do you see some guys you know up here? Do you see Batman and Superman? And Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman is my favorite character from DC. She's so cool. So, let's move to the side, find our first page. There we are. Family is a superpower. Throughout the universe, a single superpower outshines all others. An ever-changing, ever-growing power found within the world's greatest superheroes and everyday heroes, like you. Are you guys heroes too? We'll find out. With this superpower, a hero is never alone, even on the toughest days. And the dad here says, good luck at the new job, dear. This superpower keeps a hero safe. When danger is only steps away. Batgirl says, look out, Robin. And this mom says, look out, honey. Well, they're doing the same thing, aren't they? They're watching out for kids. This power is a hero's shield, protecting and defending no matter the foe. And this little girl is saying, stay away from my sister. She's standing up to bullies, isn't she? With this power, a hero is never out of place and always has a place for one more. This grown-up says, you're welcome to join us. This superpower finds courage in every hero and strength in every difference. The grown-up in that one says, you can do it. They're running a race. With this power, a hero need not be afraid because it overcomes every fear. And the signs say, welcome to America, to your new home. With each hero, this superpower grows stronger every day and every passing year. And the little girl says, Grandpa, you looked just like me. With this superpower, a hero has a helping hand and reaches out to those in need. He says, I got you, Crypto. This superpower keeps a hero afloat and rescues them from the deepest depths. This power is a hero's bright side, even when life seems upside down. And here the grown-ups say, you did your best, honey. And in this one, Supergirl says, you did your worst, Bizarro. This power is a hero's constant companion, even as time flashes by. For no matter where a hero is going or where they began, one superpower is always within. Do you guys know what it is? Have you figured out what the superpower is? The power of family. You see? 
we've got the superheroes on one side and then the regular heroes families on the other and here in the back it has a family power checklist does your family need everything on the power checklist let's see so your family might not have super speed or super strength or flight but your family has support strength encouragement belonging commitment and the last one is love those are all superpowers that all of you guys have right oh i know you do but if you were a superhero like batman or wonder woman and here on the back they're making funny faces right if you had a superpower like these guys what would you want it to be i would love to be able to teleport I wouldn't have to drive anywhere or go on airplanes anymore. I could just visit anywhere in the world I wanted to. Wouldn't that be so cool? What's your dream superpower? I bet it's awesome. Okay. And for our last book today, we did superheroes, but now we have a little girl who defeats a supervillain. This book is called Why? But how does a little girl defeat a villain? Well, we are going to find out together. At the mall. Go ahead and run, puny fools. No one can withstand the power of Dr. X-Ray. Ooh, and he's got rocket boots. That's cool. Why? Because of my X-ray blaster, and because my battle suit is indestructible. Why? It's made of mysterious meteor metal. Why? Because a meteor landed on my carport last year. Why? I believe it chose me, chose to bestow on me unimaginable power. Why? Because it is my destiny to rule the world. What do we think she's going to ask? Why? Because, because the world has been very unfair to me. Why? I want things, but I don't always get them. Why? I want things that I don't always get, too. What about you guys? I don't know. My dad says I should try harder, but I did try. I put my heart and soul into that yarn store. It just didn't work out. And there's him as a little boy. Why? I guess people don't knit as much as they used to. Why? Exactly! Why? Why? Knitting is amazing! Do you guys know how to knit? Or your parents or your grandparents? My mom knows how to knit. And soon they'll see just how amazing it is. Look at his future world. Everything's knitted. Why? Because if they don't, I'll zap them with my x-ray. Why? Because, because none of them understand me. What's she going to ask? Even my dad doesn't understand me. He wanted me to be a doctor, a real one. Why? Because he was a doctor. Why? Because his dad was a doctor, and his dad's dad was a doctor. That's how it is in my family. Why? Were you like this when you were little? Or do you have a little sibling that's like this? Always asking why, 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 why? Because we all just did what we were told. So now it's my turn to tell people what to do. Why? Because I'm going to take over the world. Why? Because I deserve it. Why? Well, all right. Maybe I don't deserve it, but I want it. Why? 
Because I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Why? Because then maybe my daddy will be proud of me. Oh, that's kind of sad, huh? I'm the bad guy, aren't I? I thought I was the hero. Why? Because everyone thinks he's the hero. Why? Because, because everyone's battling something. Everyone wants to win. And that's what hero stories are about, right? Winning. You gotta have winners and losers. Why? Good point. Boy, look at me. I don't even rule myself. Thanks, kid. You've given me a lot to think about. I could take over the world. But why? And here's Mom! There you are! Why must you keep wandering off like that? Because... Oh, that's all you ever say. And there she is, winking at us. She knows what she did. She defeated the villain. Because she listened to him, and she wanted to understand what he was going through. Maybe that's a good way to solve problems. Being a good family member is a good way to solve a problem. And listening to someone who is maybe acting in a way that they shouldn't, that might also solve some problems. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the stories today. And I'm going to sign off and see you next time. But first, what do we always do to finish up Story Tots? The goodbye song. It's the same as the hello song. I know you guys know that. So it's going to go like this. Goodbye, goodbye, see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, see you soon. See you soon someday. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.